Welcome. Today I have what might be my favorite folding e-bike that I've ever tried, and um, I've tried a few. So we're gonna get into uh, the pole. I say this wrong. Polarna, Polarna. Don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but the we're gonna say Polarna uh, M6, which is a 750 watt folding e-bike, just decked with power. We got a 48 volt battery. We got that. Again, that 750 watt motor, and it's just built well. It's a beefcake, like a spoiler alert. Like I said, it is the best folding e-bike I've ever tried. Um, I still am gonna get into the weeds here. We're gonna dive into this bike. Before I get into it, I do have to preface this video that uh, Polarna did reach out to me and send me this bike to review, um, but I promise I will not let that skew it. I'm gonna tell you the ins and outs, but it doesn't have to skew it. It's a black and white good e-bike. I'll spoil the video right there. And not only that, for the review, they did give me a promo code for you guys to use on the bike. So watch this. I'll, I'll kind of go through the ins and outs. If it's something you're considering, I can offer you $100 off of it, which is pretty cool. So I'm really excited that the brand gave me that. Uh, on the screen now, I'll have the promo code where you can go and uh, a link in the description and you can save $100 on this e-bike, which is a great value, I think. So again, I, I, I like it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's just, I've tried a lot of folding e-bikes and this comes up where all the other ones fall short. So let's get into why. Boom. So backing up uh, the unboxing experience, I got to give it to them. I just got done reviewing another folding e-bike where there was a lot of work. I, I had to set up a lot of stuff. The derailleur was needed tuning. The brakes needed fully set up and redone. Um, I got to give it up to these guys. This came fully ready to go. I just had to unclip all the plastic and the styrofoam, and it was golden. Like I literally went for a ride within maybe 10 minutes of opening the box. So that's insane. Like That they can do that is, is great. So kudos for that. Um, I, I bet it saves them a ton of like um, people coming in and like saying, hey, I have trouble or thinking it's broken. So smart on them to get all of that out of the way and then shipping it out. Um, I really appreciated that. Um, and then, the like I said, the overall setup took maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes top. So really easy to, to get out and open. Again, this is a folding e-bike, which I've kind of steered away from. But this is kind of changing my mind. Basically, what I had to, if I had to like sum this up in one sentence for people who know a lot about e bikes, I would say, Have you tried the Electric XP? Because this is that on steroids. It's everything I wish the Electric XP was. It's got, instead of a, a fork, it's got an air fork, like a real air fork on it, which is crazy to think about. It's got hydraulic bra brakes instead of uh, disc, or sorry, disc hydraulic brakes instead of mechanical disc brakes, which is crazy crazy it's like these are things like you don't think you really need on an e-bike but they went there they gave you that so in addition to that we got the 4.0 uh four inch beefy uh fat tires um just really fun to have some thick tires on this bad boy and then a rear suspension this is the first e-bike i think that i've had that has rear suspension now uh, i did review the Rattan on my channel the Rattan lm 500 there's an older brother to that bike. I think it's called the Fat Bear. Now, I think the company is now called Yami that makes it. And again, these are all just like rebranded Chinese stuff. Like this, even this Polarna, you could probably find a very similar model made by someone else. But the one I have in front of me, I'm giving all the kudos to. Like it is golden. Um, but yeah, so I'd stack it up to that Fat Bear. I bet it's very similar. But I don't think that had an air fork. So um, this definitely sneaks out ahead. Another thing to mention, there is the M6, which we have here, the, a little bit more expensive. Then there's also the M4. So they're both going to be great bikes. But again, like I said, this one comes with that extra like peace of mind because the, the quality seems like great. It's really like a great quality. And uh, as I went over and did like a safety check and tightened everything down, everything was like ready to go and, and it's really well made. So, But all in all, like I said, I can't, I can barely think of some negatives. So I'm going to take the camera off. We're going to go through a tour of the parts and I'm just going to give you kind of my thoughts and how it stacks up to some of the other e-bikes that I've reviewed. Let's go. 
Okay, so this is the polar, and I, polar knot. I, again, I'm I'm going crazy trying to think of it. Let's start from the very front. We got this headlamp, which again is like way nicer than some of the other headlamps. Here, let's just go into my messy garage, and I'll show you a couple other ones. So we got the Rad Runner headlamp, which is right here. Again, nothing special. And then this is the Natco folding bike. Again, same, almost the same one that's on the, maybe, a, yeah, basically the same one that's on the uh, Rad Runner. But so you look at those and then you come back to this guy. Yeah, that's a nice headlamp. It looks very cool. Pretty sweet. Okay, so moving right down here, we got that air fork I've been telling you about. How cool is that thing? With the golden stanchions, it really makes you feel like you're getting something reliable, which I really appreciate. Um, so you got right here is where you'd take that cap off and add a little more air. And then you have a lockout, too, where you can uh, lock out the fork and then it, it won't give you any wiggle. So like use, use, using on like road only, I'd use that for I apologize. That is actually not a dampener, or it's a dampener, not a lockout. So one, two, three, four, four different stages of dampening, which is pretty great. Now, this is something that I would compare to, like, my mountain bike over here. So this is a pretty expensive mountain bike with what's called a, a Rock Shocks Yari. And we have the same air fork, basically something very similar that we just looked at. Um, and this is on like a, a very expensive mountain bike. Okay, back to the brakes. I, I could see people having mixed feelings on these hydro. They're hydraulic, which is awesome. Like that's a very, you know, nice thing to have, a very reliable stopping power. But they are a who knows what brand type of uh, uh, hydraulic brake. So again, I, I mean, they, they'll work just fine. They're, they're decent quality. So they'll definitely do the job. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I would have, it'd been nice to see a familiar brand name on them is all. Um, moving right along, you got that rear suspension we talked about. Check that out. Haven't really taken it like off road or anything. I think I might save that for its very own video of taking this on like actual trails. Uh, there's one trail in Michigan here that allows e-bikes. So um, yeah, I got a, <laughs> a beefy full suspension e-bike. I might go give it a try. I think that might be a fun video. Um, so yeah, we got the rear suspension. We have this beefy bike rack. Look at this thing. Everything you, you could want in a bike rack. The kickstand is even just a thick, bad baby. <laughs> like, look at this guy. It's reliable. It can hold this. This bike is huge, by the way. Like, let's bring out my mountain bike. My wife actually told me to include in this video to make sure to mention that she wishes it was a little smaller because she likes it so much, but it's too big for her, she thinks, which is true. It's a big bike. Okay, so this is a, a large mountain bike. Yes, it's definitely bigger than the e-bike, don't get me wrong, but most of my other e-bikes, like... Again, apologize for this terribly messy garage, but thing like this Rad Runner or this uh, Natco folding bike, they're, they're just like maybe half the size of this thing. No, that's an over-exaggeration, but still. Probably, they're, they're smaller. That's the point I'm trying to make. Um, now, the frame is actually, <laughs> it's so close to the Electric XP frame. It's got the battery in the frame it's got the let's get that in focus and we got the the keys that kind of go let's get that right under it which i know some people complain about like they're afraid it'll come out and i guess i'd be afraid too but from what i've seen they'll, they'll stay in there just fine um you got fenders that come standard wow look at this guys uh remember that yammy fat bear this actually has a yammy folding lock on it. So I don't know if these are maybe owned by the same people. That is so interesting to me because I, I just brought that up and I'm just now seeing it. It's kind of blowing my mind. So this might be the basically really close to that fat bear I mentioned that yammy makes. 
Uh, they're either borrowing parts made in the same factory or there's some sort of co-ownership. Um, very interesting. I mean, either way, like I'm not saying that is a bad thing at all. I think they're they're great bikes. People love their fat bears. Uh, this might just be a beefed up fat bear, like that next step up. Here's another thing that's really impressive is this is a Shimano Atlas, which my wife's mountain bike actually uses and, and that's a pretty nice mountain bike so that's a step up like the the cheapest one would just say shimano then you'd get a semi nicer one that would say uh tourney um and then this atlas or a alta sorry um is that next step up so a pretty decent derailleur and a, and a nice shimano um uh cassette on this too um, and then again, back to the tires, they're, they're 4.0 beefcakes. What else can I say? They're, they're going to do the job. They're going to be really cushiony that do plus an air fork and, and a rear suspension. This thing should float over anything that, that the average e-biker is going to do. So it should be ready and rugged. Um, now this thing, I think retails for either 15 or 16, a uh, hundred dollars uh plus don't forget that coupon code i mentioned so subtract a hundred dollars off that and i gotta say hands down worth it i think just a no-brainer that's the same price as the rad runner plus and i would pick this every day of the week like i love the color i love everything about it i don't know let's get on let's ride and, and we could talk more out there Okay, so we got this ready for a ride over here. Uh, switched to a different camera, so I apologize if the audio sounds different. Um, but yeah, man, this thing. I, spoiler, I did kind of uh, take it on a little bit of a quick ride already. The 750 watt motor really does its thing. Um, I'm a bigger guy and it handles me like nothing, so. Uh, you definitely get the speed that you would hope for the, for the, for the 750 watt. The display, check out this thing, is gorgeous. And I know that frame rate mismatch is kind of funky. Let's see if I... Ugh, I hate that. Okay, so again, let's just do a quick tour. I apologize that it's flickering, but I don't have a solution. I'm using my other camera here. So I can't adjust shutter speed, but we got three speeds. I like that. All my other bikes have like five and it's like, I don't need five different speeds. I need a low, medium and fast because mostly I'm just using fast. Let's be honest. Button here for the headlamp. Um, another thing is like, this is like so straightforward. You don't have to like hold plus and uh, power like on the Rad Runner display or like you have to know like two different buttons mean things. This has all the buttons for all everything you need. Um, one thing that's driving me a little nuts is the throttles on the left hand, uh, where every other e-bike I've had, it's either it's on the a thumb that's like right here, or it's a twist that's on the right. Um, luckily, I think it should be really easy to move. I'll just swap the bell in that, and it should be no problem. Um, or I'll just get used to it and stop being a baby. Um, again, this is like the Rattan where it has cruise control, which is just something to think about. If you hold this down for more than four seconds, I think it is, it will just go on its own. So you really just have to hit it for four seconds and then forget about it, which is great. Leather-ish grips. I doubt it's, it might be real leather. I don't know. It reminds me of some of the Rad Power Bike grips, I think, that comes on the... Oh, what is it? The Rad Rover, I think, has like the exact same grips. I like them. They're, they're plenty fine. Oh, the seat, by the way, is so cozy. I got to give it up. This thing is, I, I did not have high hopes, but it does its job. I like it a lot. Um, and, you know, that just goes to like the overall thesis of this bike is like, why are you spending a little more money is to never have to buy other stuff for it. Because everything that comes stock on this bike is perfectly fine. There's nothing that I would replace. Again, the air fork is gonna be perfect. You'll never need another fork. Um, the seat is more than good enough. The display is perfect. The headlight is beefy. The back rack is good to go. Like you maybe will buy storage for this thing, but that's it. This has everything you need. Um, 
Let's do a quick ride. All right, we got a big hill here. This whole thing is uphill. Let's give it a try. I am barely pedaling. This is awesome. Let's actually get into mode three. Oh yeah. Okay, as for pedal assist, it's really fun to pedal. It's a lot like, uh, what I like is it you can pedal and it gives you some too, even on the highest one. It might be the cassette that this one's using, uh, that it has like a lower gear because I'm on the hardest gear there is. And instead of just pedaling into air like some e-bikes are, uh, I actually feel me and the motor. So I can get that feeling of like actually like biking instead of just like mopeding, which is great. So now let's switch to throttle mode. Okay, let's just, uh, from a starting stop, we'll, we'll do the throttle mode and see what, what it looks like. All right, we're off. And we're going right into a hill up here. Come on. <laughs> it's got to push about 230 pounds up the hill here. And it does it. It does a good job. Uh, a little fun fact, actually, while I'm here. This is the lot that I just bought, which is pretty cool. We are going to start building our house here uh, this month, actually. So I like to ride my e-bike back here to see if they're started yet. <laughs> uh, can't wait to move in. All right, back to the z-bike. Okay, so we got a good pedal assist ride. We got a good cruise control ride um, or throttle. Uh, let's do some like final thoughts here. So um, my challenge to anyone watching this is to try to suggest a better folding e-bike. Cause like I said, you could watch all the videos I've done. Um, this is hands down the best one I think I've rode when it comes to just po overall power and fun, like the, the battery and the, and the uh, motor it's got more than enough power it's really fun and then the accessories that come on it like that air fork that I, I talk about that air fork all the time but I'm just kind of shocked it has one um, the the dual suspension the great onboard computer I challenge you to suggest a better folding e-bike um, maybe like the one downside is it's a little pricey but again I have that code that you can use for a hundred dollars off um, this e-bike. So just go ahead and use that if you're interested. I'm, I hope it helps. So um, now I do think it is worth spending a little more for an e-bike like this because it, it just feels sturdy. It feels nice. Um, like if you're between this and electric XP and you know that you're going to be using it all the time, what is it? Maybe four or $500 more. I know that's a lot, but still I think it's worth it. I would I would pick this over the Electric XP, hands down. Nothing wrong with Electric XP though, obviously. It's like, it's kind of propelled e-bikes actually. It's so popular online. If everyone loves it for, for the right reason, you know, it's a fast, fun, affordable e-bike. But if you wanna take that next step, you're looking for something, maybe you take it camping and there's some trails by you, 
don't even think twice. This is the one for you. So uh, I'm gonna keep this one for a while, I think. I, 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 I go through so many e-bikes and um, you know, it's hard to tell like what one's my daily driver. So right now I'm keeping this and the Rad Runner I've never gotten rid of. So I'll probably have the, the wife use the Rad Runner and this might be my new, my new bike that I use all the time because it, it can handle a heavier rider really well. Like it, it accelerates really nicely, even, even with a big rider on it. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's got that reliability, that sturdiness that I, I look for in an e-bike. Um, I wish I had more negative things to say because it almost seems like I'm just rambling about how much I like it. Hopefully you found this helpful and got to learn about a new e-bike today. And if you're interested in getting one, like I said, don't forget to use that code uh, to save $100 off of it, which is, you know, that's, that's not, it's not a little bit of money. That's a decent amount. So um, thank you again to Polerna to, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, but. Again, thank you guys for sending me this to review. I'm so excited I got to give this a try because like I said, it exceeded my expectations and became one of my new favorite folding e-bikes. So um, again, thank you guys for watching and uh, have fun e-biking. <laughs> I know I will.